Hey, this is Automate a lot, and in this video, I just want to show you a little workaround to have two forms on one landing page in the Unbounce Classic Builder. So you see here, I have an example page with a form, and if I want to drag in the second form, the icon is grayed out and it won't work. But what you can do is you can use a custom HTML block to show a page which contains another form. So let's drag this in, and here we have to insert a custom HTML code for which I created a Google Doc. Link is down in the description. And here you just copy this iframe part and paste it here. And here we have to replace this source URL with the URL containing our second form. And also we have to change width and height to the values of not only this custom HTML block, but also the size of the page containing our second form. And I want to have this as 350 wide and 50 high. Center it below this text because I want to have a form which is just a text field for an email address and a call to action to sign up to a newsletter. And now we have to go to edit code and let the iframe know that we want to show a page which is 350 pixels wide and 50 pixels high is already the default. Now click save code and create a new page to design our second form. So just click create new, select classic builder and start building. And here I select bank page and I'll just call it form and start with this template. And to make this fit, our little HTML block here, we have to make the section on our new page the same size as the HTML block, which was 350 by 50. So just select your section, make it 50 high and on the page properties, 350 wide. I'll select black as background color. So in case it isn't pixel perfect, the white background won't stick out as much on our dark background of the hero section. And also on the page properties, select a black background. And now I'll drag in our second form, where I just want to have an email field with a hidden label and as field placeholder text, your email, click done, and I select maximum height, center it, put it to the left, and now I have to match the call to action design, so back to the landing page. And here we have this yellow underlay color and black text. So paste the underlay color and text color is black. Let's make it a little bit smaller and make the text sign up now. And now I just make it 50 high and put it to the right. Now, as form confirmation, we can't use the form confirmation dialog because if the user sends the form and the form confirmation dialog shows up, it would only show up in this little frame here, which most likely isn't enough. So I recommend using go to URL, or if you really want, you can also show an alert message, which will pop up in the browser of your user. But I think that's pretty annoying most of the time. So I'll just use go to URL. And here I select a thank you page. So I go back here. And here I have prepared a thank you page. So I just copy this URL, paste it, and as target, you have to select parent frame. Okay, and that's it for this one. So just save it, go back to overview, and publish this. And now we can just take this URL, go to our landing page, and to edit code for our custom HTML block and paste the URL here for source. And that's it. Now, if I save it and republish it, you have to republish it because if you just go to preview, you won't see anything. I can show you. So if I go to preview, our extra frame won't show up. But if I open up the live page, you see we now have 
our old form here and also our second form to sign up for the newsletter. So we have two forms on one landing page and both work. So if I enter a at b.com, I can click sign up now, which will take me to the thank you page. And if I go back and fill out this form, a, b, a at b.com, we get our form confirmation dialog. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you really liked it and want to see more of our content, subscribe to the channel. And if you have questions or feedback, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you ASAP. See you next time.